everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a round brush design using two Magic round brushes, a 12 and a number 8. All these will be linked below my videos if you want to purchase through the affiliate links. And then a number 10 flat brush, a number 8 deer foot stippler, and a fine liner by Westonia. All the paints I use are folk art paints, surface and enamels, using violet pansy, light lavender, red violet, thicket, happy green, wicker white, and moon yellow. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using the number 12 flat brush for my beginning designs. And I'm just going to stick my brush. Now, this is a combination of the red violet and the violet pansy. I am sticking my brush into that. And then I'm going to come over here to the light lavender. Now, with this design, I am going to be pushing down just kind of pushing a little bit and then pulling towards the center. Doing the same thing over here, pushing down, pulling towards the center. And just raising up as I pull. Oops, got something there. Don't want that. Wipe that off just a smidge there. And then doing the same thing here, pushing down. You can even push it out a little bit and then pull towards the center if you want. You can do or just pull towards the center like that. So they don't all have to be the same. You can vary, vary the look of the petals. But the main thing is, is to push down and pull towards the center. Push down. And you can go forward a little bit if you want and come towards the center. Or you can just leave it place it down and pull up to you. So now the petals are all a little different and we're just going to vary these. And I can go like that but I'm not, not looking for the stamp look on this one like I did on some of my other ones this week. And the thicker you apply your paint the more durable your design is going to be. Now if you're new to my channel please know that my designs are meant to be simple. They are meant to be good for beginners to learn how to paint. So if you're saying, wow, this is really easy, but I can paint better than, you know, better than this or higher level than this, well then you know why. It's meant for others to learn. And so we'll just push and pull towards the center. So much fun. Now, it may look a little bit different than the design I put on my paper because I had more room, and I mention this often. So you kind of have to adjust based upon the room that you have to work with. When you're painting, if you feel like the design is a little bit uh, like it's bigger, like I am not going to be able to do as many flowers on mine. So I'm going to leave it like this. So I'm not making it too scrunchy, but I could definitely do that. I have, have such a way with actually making my designs big for some reason. All right, so I'm going to stop with that. I could keep messing with it, but I'm not going to keep doing that. I'm going to take my fine liner and stick it into my paint. I like to kind of pull it out and roll it, pull it out and roll it. All right, so then I'm just going to do this real carefully paint in my stem. Just kind of bring it, bring it down and wave it a little bit. I don't want it straight down. Now there are going to be for instances when you do want it to be straight, but most of my designs I kind of put a little wiggle or a little curve in it. And 
All right, then I can actually do some little pulls that I come out. And I'll show you this a little bit here in a little bit when I'm doing with these. And I'll add some darker green into it. Just get a little mixture of colors. And I can even come through here and do one that comes out to the side over the flowers. And let's see, I might just leave it like that. I don't want to have too many. I'm going to come back and put a little bow into this one. All right, and then I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to come through on some of these and just rotate the colors and use this to do just kind of a filler filler, I don't know if you want to say not really a leaf but maybe a branch and it's very simple You can actually overlap them a little bit if you want. Make them a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. That's however you want to do it. All right, I'm going to come in here and do this to this one as well. And you can start like at the bottom here. And then work your way around it if you want. And these just take a little bit of time because it's you're putting in so many strokes. come down in here if you want to also you can leave it bare again up to you but as much or as little you could also do this with a flat brush all right so now I'm going to set that liner brush aside and I come in here, put my uh, flat brush into the thicket, into the happy green, a little bit into the burnt umber. Just a little bit. Kind of gives it more of a an olive. Look, it's not quite as bright. And if you don't like that, you don't have to do it. But what I'm going to do at this point then is just come in and I'm going to do make sure I have more paint on my brush trying to dry. I'm going to go like this and then I'm going to come in here come down the other side and do a wiggle. Yes it is pulling in some of the purple which that's fine but this is just another way to make a different style of leaf And yes, I'm overlapping a little bit, which is fine. You're going to find that's what happens in nature. Right? And then I'll look at this and I'll say, okay, let's do this one. This is just a, an easy way to do maybe more of a flat sided and then a ruffle sided at the same time. Like that. And if you think you need more, you can actually do another one. Throw another one in there. And again, I probably will add another one over here. Probably just one. Keep it simple. All 
All right, let's see if we need to add, and just kind of step back and say, hey, do I need to add one any other place? I might do one over here. Hopefully you can see all these. I know I'm wiggling my bottle around a lot. Then maybe do one over this way. And come down here. And put through the center. Like that. If you want to do a third, you can do a third. I'm just going to leave it like this. My next step is to come in here and tap in my centers. So I'm going to put the front part of the Deerfoot stippler into the school bus shell or the moon yellow. Reminds me of school bus yellow. It's basically the same. And tap it a little bit on my plate. Then I'm going to come in here. I am going to pull up purple from underneath. That's just, can't avoid that unless I dry it. I'm just going to tap gently, put the brown at the bottom, tap gently, put some more yellow at the top, like that. Come in here, do the same thing, just kind of a circle motion. And because it's wet, I need to put on quite a bit of paint, really, on my brush. To try to avoid that a, a little bit at least, pulling up the paint from underneath. To you, up to you. I'm just tapping in, trying to get that in the bottom there. Like that. And you can keep working with your centers as much as you want or as little. What I'm gonna do now is kind of wipe my brush off a little bit and I'm gonna use the, going into the wicker white and I'm just gonna do quick little pulls from around the bottom, pulling out here. And I just like to make them a little whimsical. You could do it all the way around if you wanted, or just do it like this. And you can make them as thick as you want or as multiple as thin, however, however you want to do it. Then the last thing I'm going to do, take my number eight round brush and just stick it into the happy green and I'm just going to come through here and just randomly put in some of those kind of stamped looking little little uh, leaves that I did earlier in the week. And they're meant just to be just like a, what I'm doing. They're not anything real difficult at all. And they're meant to just be tapped on. And then come down here and do some, like that. And space them out a little bit. Come up here a little bit, doesn't matter. Even come down here a little bit with it. And it blends in a little bit. Then I'm gonna take the liner brush, wipe off some of the white, put it back in here, and then just come in and do my holes that I have to, my little stems to put them, hook them on to the bigger stem. If you don't like these leaves, then just leave them out. I'm just giving it a little bit more texture, 
a little more interest by adding these, but if you don't like them, because I know they're a little different, then leave them out. Not a big deal. All right, there you have it. I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. Also share this video on your social network with all your family and friends. Just hit the share button underneath the video and it'll give you the options of where to share it and you'll be good to go. All right, until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one.